Hey guys, we're here with Jamie Wilhite at Lockdown Outdoors. Jamie, we were here with you last year. We love the product that you have. Tell us a little bit more about what all you have here today. How it works and everything. Well, we're a little bit different than uh, most of your scent companies, but basically how this works is you take it, it's got a sponge applicator on it, and you push down, and when you push down, you'll see that run out right there, and you can rub it on the bottom of your boots. You can do what, rub it on trees, rocks, yep. deer stands, and then you take it and you just hang it up, and basically what's going on right here, is, where'd that applicator go? We have a valve in here, so it's not going to leak. So your customers are not going to lose any product. Yep. And this sponge right here is releasing corn scent. So smell that right there. Woo, did you just open that can of corn? Crazy, crazy. And then what you do is, when you get through hunting, when you go home, yep. you take it, you put this cap on. Now, it comes with a threaded cap. Okay. There's a reason for that. Keeps that sponge moist the whole time, yep. won't dry out, and if you put it in your backpack, it's not going to leak all over your clothes. Wonderful. When you go back out, you take it off, hang it back up, and you can reactivate it. That scent's going to stick on that sponge for a very long time, your, your whole hunt. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. So, And we also have the cover scent, the earth. So yep. you take this and put it up in your stand, use it in your stand. So, But we have awesome. probably... I don't know, right around 15 products. Okay. Now, you also have a synthetic and a natural blend of deer yes. attractants, um, which is yeah. great because, as we all know, CWD is becoming a bigger yes. and bigger issue, and they're actually starting to ban a lot of the natural attractants. They um, are. And I can say personally, guys, his synthetic stuff, you put it nose to nose against <laughs> his natural, it's it's tough to determine the difference. It's close, yeah. yeah. A lot of people can't even tell the difference, but yeah, CWD has hit several states, yep. you know, including Arkansas. I'm in Arkansas, it happened to us. Yep. Uh, so basically what we did was we have a synthetic scent uh, that we came out with and my farm actually does my synthetic. So that way it's close, it's yep. matched. So I'm not getting it from this farmer and this farmer. We use okay. one company and they're great. So yeah. That's awesome. Now, can you just run through what options people have scent wise? Scent wise, you know, our number one is gonna be your synthetic uh, dough heat right here. That's that's my top pick. I really love it, which okay. we do have the natural if it's legal. Yep. Uh, your cover scents is, you know, your earth is really, really good. Uh, now, we did come out with a spray. You probably hadn't seen this. Nah. They, were, ask, they were asking me for a dirt spray. My motto is, if you smell like dirt, what does a deer's nose, all day long a deer's nose is where? In, In the, dirt. the dirt. So my thing is, if I smell like dirt, the deer are not going to smell me. So we came out with a spray. So you spray awesome. this on, you're going to smell like a pile of dirt. So, But basically, that's how it works. Uh, we do have a persimmon right there. That's a really, really good one. The deer love that one, so, but it's just a little different way to use scents, yeah. and, you know, if you notice one thing while I demoed that whole thing, did I touch anything? No. I didn't get anything on my hands. It nope. was clean. So, if you're hunting with our products and you want to eat a snack or something, you're not going to have deer urine all over your hands. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks again, Jamie. Yeah, Guys, thanks, be sure to check them out. That's Lockdown Scents.